All right, as we keep marching through the guillotines, the next one is one of, I think, my favorites uh, because people just don't expect it very often. It's the neck and arm guillotine. Um, it's a really good guillotine for people that are going to fight your grips. All right, so if we go into a turtle position, we're going to first talk about this grip fighting. Again, we're going to get into all this into defenses, which will be at the second DVD. Move that beautiful hair. When I come through, it's once I'm here, whether I'm chin strapping or I happen to be you know, all the way through, it's relatively obvious that she doesn't want my arm here, right? <laughs> so immediately she's gonna try to pull, yeah, pull that down and control that grip fighting, right? It's good if I was in a, you know, if we were grappling, I'd make sure that there's weight. You see how there, my chest is down on her head, my elbows are back home, so she's kind of in this trap. It's okay. We can grip fight. Maybe sometimes I can go back and forth, boom, boom, and we can work that way. But in this particular example, once she kind of pulls that down, I say, okay, cool. We're going to take that. And I'm just going to reach through and grab the tricep here. All right. Once I anchor on that tricep, I'm going to get into that position that we've been going through, that strangle side hip. I'm going to get that armpit on the back of the head. My elbow is going to compress in here. And I would be up and I'm going to shoot through. Okay. For the sake of me talking, I'm going to start back into this position. Okay. Understand that, you know, a lot of times, especially this one, I'm sliding in like I just did. But for this case, actually, let's angle you like 45 degrees more. There we go. Perfect. So that's how I normally get into this. This is where this comes into play a lot. But as I show you the mechanics, I'm gonna be like this. Armpit on the back of the head. Can you imagine? We're gonna put weight on the back of the head. Crazy. Coming through. Now, there's gonna be more meat, more stuff in there. I know that a neck and arm is not gonna, it's not even possible to get into this. So we're gonna catch as high as we can, but understand that it's not gonna be up here. Right? So we're gonna arm pin on the back end, come through. We need to make sure, this is a huge little detail, that we have connection with our bicep on the opposite side neck. This is where a lot of people can go wrong with this one. So as they come through, make sure that there's not a gap here and you wet noodle your arm. When I say wet noodle, it's not rah, Bicep, I don't even know if you can see my bicep. I'm like, can you zoom in on my bicep? No, I'm just kidding, don't zoom in on my bicep. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Wet noodle when you're coming through, not strong bicep. Okay, we wanna use that if we have to later. Hopefully we won't have to, but we just wanna wet noodle in and make contact with the neck. Coming through, have that contact. Look, as high as I can up here, as high as I can. Watch grip, elbows are coming back home. <laughs> 